How's it going out there? Hey, let's go over screen overlays. You know, the numbers that show you your depth and your water temperature and all that, and how to get those on your screen, you know, change them. And also there's some other screens that'll show up on there that you may not want some ribbons and some screens on the side. So I'll show you how to get rid of those. And uh, I'd love to say it's really simple, but it's, it's kind of complicated. And it's something you do have to kind of play with, but let's go over it anyway, and I'll show you which menus you can find those in. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so let's take a look at overlay numbers. Let's start out with our, uh, our charts. So the charts are a little bit different. The fishing chart there. You can see it puts labels in all four corners and a top or a bottom ribbon if you want. So from there you can go menu and edit overlays and I've got them on show. You can go ahead and turn them off. Go back, back and now you don't have them. So if you want to change those, you can change the top bar to a compass tape, trolling motor, media bar, or none. And same with the bottom. You got navigation insert, edit layout. This is what I wanted to show you. So on the layout, depending on what you want to see where, Go to that, you can, you've got all different types of things you can put in there. Uh, system, you can go ahead and put the time of day up there. Uh, GPS position, change that from depth. We can, uh, well, let's pick one out here. Let's go to temperature. Now we've got a depth and time of day. So. These are customizable in this screen on the uh, charts. So the overlays in your regular sonar are a little bit different. Let's start out with traditional. Now this is what we all like to see here. The easiest way for me to explain it is you got to go into your sonar overlays or your sonar to change these. The rest of them the rest of the settings, when it says edit overlays, are going to be blocks or ribbons. Um, so let's go over that a little bit. So we're in our traditional, go to menu, edit overlays. Now navigation inset, let's go ahead and turn that on, or it goes to auto. Then we go back, you can see it up here on top. And it gives you your GPS speed, heading, bearing, and course. So now that'll stay with you all the way through. It'll be on every screen, every sonar screen. And if I want to turn it off, I can go, no matter which screen I'm in, I can go edit overlays turn that off and it goes away so that's universal to all the screens all right now let's say we want to change these numbers here go menu sonar setup and then overlay data and from there you got device voltage speed time of day depth and water temperature uh, and these all have toggle buttons the water temperature you can set on auto or hide depth is show or hide voltage same thing speed we can go hide time of day we can hide that now we go back we don't have any of that so and again, that's going to be universal for all the different screens. See, it's gone. Let's 
go back to our menu. Sonar setup. Overlay data. And I like having my device voltage on, my time of day on, depth, and water temperature. I'm gonna go back. And there they are. And again, they're on all the screens, no matter where I go. Any of your regular combos that you've built, uh, this is one I built. I can go to menu, configure combination, and then I can edit overlays. Now I've got overlay numbers, and I can show those, and the navigation inset. So let's see what that looks like. Now again, you got this over here. And these are kind of neat. You can take and hold your finger on it and it'll let you change it to whatever you want you want to put on it. So if I want temperature, and that probably changes. I'm in simulator mode right now, so probably I wouldn't have all these options if I were, you know, just hooked up to my regular. Uh, but you got that in the combinations that you can configure. If that shows up and you want to get rid of it, go to configure combination and edit overlays and hide it. All right, so as you can see from me struggling to try to show you the overlays and how to get those on and off your screen, uh, they are a little complex. So it takes some time when you build a combination, go ahead and set those up if you want to use them and uh, get them right. The sonar overlays, those pretty much will stay with you. So once you set those up, uh, they'll be on the screen for you. But the other ones are, uh, are a little difficult. And sometimes you won't understand why when you go to one combination, they're there and in another combination, they're not there. And and things like that so again set up your favorite combinations put them on your shortcuts and get them the way you want them so we'll see you on the next one guys if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe let's get out on the water and have a great day